This is the Bridge Pro. It's the best iPad Pro keyboard you can buy. I'm Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. This is my 105 day review of the Bridge Pro. The Bridge keyboard is the main reason I'm able to leave my MacBook Pro at home and go out and do mobile work with just my iPad Pro. I have the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. This is the 12.9 version of the Bridge Pro in silver. You can also get it in space gray. I really love the keys here because I have really good placement of the keys. So I'm able to quickly find my home row and kind of get settled in, but they're also backlit. You have three levels of backlit brightness. And what that allows me to do is do more work when I'm in cars or in poorly lit areas. Because this is a different keyboard that I'm used to on my MacBook Pro or at my desk, it helps to have that backlit so I can see where I'm going even though I'm not a hunt and peck typer. If you do hunt and peck, this keyboard will also be very handy in a mobile situation because it's going to help you see where the keys are. Another thing that I really like is the setup of the arrow keys so it's easy to find the up and down and the left and right without having to figure out what's what. And the little break here in the placement really helps out. The keys have a very soft touch finish so they're very comfortable to touch. And another really handy feature about this is they have really nice travel. This keyboard is definitely better than what I have on my 2016 MacBook Pro. There's more travel, that's the distance the key moves when you push on it. It feels really nice when you're typing for long periods. You can't discount the comfort that you get from a keyboard like this. Now, a few other things that you can see right here, we have two little nubs right here that when I close this, it's going to prevent the iPad screen from touching the keyboard. Now with this closed, you can see the leather cover. This is removable, it's just with magnets, and it just goes right on and slides into place. This leather cover is a nice way to protect your iPad Pro while using the bridge keyboard, and if you want, you can easily just take it off. I have a very slim skin installed on my iPad Pro, so I don't use the leather cover that often. Even with the skin, it fits into the hinges very nicely. When you open this up, it immediately goes and unlocks your iPad, and then you can just hit enter and Face ID will unlock it and you're gonna be able to quickly get in, get back to work, everything reconnects instantly. Coming back to that keyboard, we do have a function row along the top that lets you control brightness of your screen, keyboard backlighting, some media playback, and then to control Bluetooth functionality, we also have a Siri button down here in the left corner. Another thing that's really nice is this front edge right here of the keyboard where it meets the iPad Pro screen is kind of beveled, curved away. If you wanna use any of the autocorrect options that appear on screen, you can go ahead and reach up and tap that. And it also makes quickly swiping into another app easy, as well as going to your home screen so it's a really nice setup and design there. Rounding out the design, I wanna call your attention to the bottom of the keyboard. We have rubber feet, kinda of like a MacBook Pro or a keyboard. And what this means is when you set your iPad Pro down with this Bridge Pro connected, it's not going to move around on a surface. It's gonna stay put really great for typing. Now, one thing that I do a lot with this is I'll type in a car, so I have this setting on my feet or kind of hunched in between my legs and it works out way better with this design than the Apple Smart Keyboard for the iPad Pro, which is actually more expensive than this model and doesn't even have backlighting. As we take a closer look at the hinges, they're pretty easy to work with. You just pull the iPad out and then when you're ready to put it back in, you just line it up with the hinges straight up and you push it in you might need to fine tune it just a little bit, but once it's in, it closes up and you're good to go. As you can see, the hinge here has rubber inside and that keeps your iPad safe from scratches. I've been using this for over 100 days. My iPad shows no signs of wear from using these hinges. And when you have both of the hinges connected and you're moving them back and forth, the iPad does not stress as you move them around, which is really nice. You have this nice package where you're easily able to carry this around with you and have a lot of mobile productivity in one package. Even with this attached to my 13 inch iPad Pro, it's still very portable and it works out really great for travel, especially compared to my 15 inch MacBook Pro. In addition to using this as a keyboard, you can also pull the iPad out, you can swivel it around and you can insert it back in the hinges. And now you have an easy way to use your iPad 
as a movie stand or to play games on. And this is really handy, especially on an airplane because it's gonna fit into that tray space very nicely. This also works out really well on a hotel bed. If you wanna watch a movie at night, you can kind of prop it up there. And it really completes the whole experience of traveling with the iPad Pro. Now you can also close this and now you have a tablet mode. I typically don't use this a whole lot unless I wanna go into tablet mode while I am at a restaurant or something like that. Because for me, it's just as easy to pull the iPad Pro out of this case and just use the iPad Pro and leave the keyboard in my bag. This keyboard does charge with USB-C, so you can easily charge it using your iPad Pro charger. You can also connect with USB-C to the iPad Pro instead of Bluetooth. I only use Bluetooth. I don't have a reason not to use Bluetooth, but if you prefer a hardwired connection that is available. The battery life of this keyboard is rated for 12 months. I've been using it for about four months now and I'm at 83%, so it definitely will hold up to that standard. Thanks for joining me to check out the Bridge Pro for the 2018 iPad Pro. This is available for 149 for the 11 inch and 169 for the 12.9 inch. You can find this directly at Bridge, also Amazon, Verizon, and a few other retailers. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. That helps us out. If you have questions about the Bridge Pro, leave us a comment down below, and I'll do my best to answer some of those questions for you, to help you decide if this is the right keyboard for you. Finally, subscribe, hit that bell notification icon. That way you get an alert every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.